Have you ever noticed that Word automatically corrects errors that you make sometimes, such as if you were to type in a word incorrectly, commonly, like T-E-H, we've corrected to the, quite often A-D-N, people have mistyped the keys, and it has automatically corrected it to and. Did you know that there are some other useful ones as well? Like if you want the copyright symbol, if you put C inside brackets, it automatically changes it to a copyright. Same again for R, does the same, and also for trademark, does that too. So there are a few things there that fix little errors that we make and also help speed things up for us. However, it could also be useful for speeding a few things up. So let's say I type in jargon-free help a lot. Wouldn't it be useful if I just typed JFH, press enter, and it would automatically correct it for me to jargon-free help. And I can do that by going into Tools, and right down the bottom here, you'll see just on the edge of the screen here, you have got autocorrect options. And here is my autocorrect dialog box. And you'll see it's got that listed. There you go. C in enclosed brackets gives you copyright. And you can see down this list, there's a whole bunch of common ones in there. So if you do make some mistakes, you'll find here there'll be one ADN that creates it to and. So if there's some here that don't work, you could change them, or some that you make mistakes on frequently, you could correct. So up here is where it works. You've got replace. So if I type in JFH, now this is not case sensitive. If I type in JFH in capital letters, it'll still recognize it. I can click here and then put it in with the correct case. Whoops, dragon free help. If I click on add, it will now appear on that list. I can remove it because I can just click on delete here. You can actually turn this little feature off because you can tick it, you can untick it here. And there's also other things here such as correct accidental use of caps lock. How often have you had that on and it's done things incorrectly and it's automatically fixed it for you? Capitalized names of days, first letter in a table cell, um, first letter of sentences, and if you accidentally, like some people do, you hold down the shift key for that just split second too long and the first two letters of a word capitalized. You might actually think, actually I don't do that, but word might be correcting it for you. So there's plenty of others I could put in here, make your life easier. If I put in GS, I can get it to change it to my name. I click on add, and down here is OK. Right, so if I was to type in Gary, let's do GS is recording some tutorials for JFH. It's triggered by pressing enter, moving down to the next line, or by pressing the spacebar. And that is autocorrect.